Well, November is National Alzheimer's Awareness Month, and the number of people affected, expected to be affected is to triple by wow. 2050. Tina joined this morning uh, by Dr. Spencer Zimmerman to learn more about some steps we can take to avoid Alzheimer's. Yeah, I was just asking him to, and welcome to the show, by the way, uh, the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's. I think we hear both and sometimes in the same sentence. So can you explain? Correct. So dementia is like saying, do you like cookies? Yes or no. But what type? So the type would be Alzheimer's versus vascular dementia is a different type. I see, I see. Okay, and this, you had some really interesting statistics. I did not know that more women get Alzheimer's. Interesting. Correct, and it's a greater risk than even that of breast cancer for women. Wow, oh, wow. wow. So as you said two thirds are women and there's like the 16th leading cause of death and it's going to increase by 2050. Correct. The numbers are only going up unless you do things to change your fate. Okay, so you have some tips for us on how we can do that and how we can avoid that. So what are the first one is reduce inflammation. Correct. So this is a chronic inflammatory issue. So first we need to reduce our exposure to toxins. Get a great quality water filter for your house. Use organic cleaning supplies. Don't use Roundup or other weed killers or pesticides in your yard or garden. And lastly, avoid plastics in the consumption food. Plastic water bottles, plates, or forks. Really? Okay, all right. Uh, improve nutrition. I'm talking about a balanced diet with lots of healthy vegetables, fiber, protein, and healthy fats. And by all means, remove processed foods and artificial sweeteners, as well as high fructose corn syrup from your diet. Okay, and the other one is, of course, improve sleep. We hear that so often in so many different categories. Uh, to prevent Alzheimer's, get more sleep. Correct. Sleep is a time that our brain and our body repairs, recovers, but also reduces inflammation. Sleep is all about timing. When you wake up first thing in the morning, go outside, get into the sun. This helps your body establish a good rhythm. Next, don't eat anything three to four hours for bed. And lastly, shoot for se seven to eight hours of sleep so your body can remove those wastes. And what did you say about the, the three or four hours? Don't eat before. Don't eat three to four hours before okay. bed because that can mess with your sleeping. Okay. And of course, exercise. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one to uh, resolve emotional trauma. Emotional trauma and PTSD is linked with an increased risk of Alzheimer's. So you need to shed that baggage that you're carrying around unnecessarily throughout life. Get help from a healthcare professional to be able to do that. You're so saying, that way you can live to the fullest. You're saying a lot of these things here start early. How early are we talking about? So by the time you get a diagnosis, it's been going on for 20, maybe even 30 years. Really? Wow. Yes. So start in, what, 30s and 40s to follow the, all these recommendations here. I'm very interested about the reduced inflammation and then get rid of all the plastics, uh, you know, exposure to pesticides, things like that. Correct. So, you know, what we've done in our house is we use glass containers for the kids because we don't want them to break stuff. They have stainless steel cups. But when you heat plastics, for example, or else you take hot food and put it in plastic, it actually leaches into the food. Okay. So you're actually consuming plastics. And that affects your body and, and is linked to Alzheimer's. Correct. Wow, wow. All right, you have a book called uh, Brain Reset, Seven Steps to a Healthier Brain. Where can people get that? You can get that through Amazon and just type that in, Brain Reset, Seven Steps to a Healthier Brain. All right, Dr. Spencer Zimmerman, thank you for coming by and letting us know all about those things. Very interesting. All right, thank you. Thank Guys, you. back over to you.